Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your D-Link router. And before I start, I would like to remind you that if my video helps you, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below. The first step is turning on the router. Plug the power adapter into the router. Connect one end to an outlet and the other end to the router. Then press the power button. When the router powers on, the indicator will illuminate. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. The next step is to connect the cable from your internet service provider or from your modem to the internet port. This port is often marked as internet and typically has a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks. Now you now need to reset the router to its original factory settings. Hold down the reset button on the router for 10 seconds. Wait for the router's indicator lights to start flashing. Sometimes, this button is located inside the router casing to prevent accidental presses. Use a thin object to push it down. The router will reboot and all the settings will return to their factory defaults. Plug one end of the ethernet cable from the router into a LAN port. the other end into the Ethernet card of your computer or laptop. Wait a few minutes for connection. Great, the router is connected to your computer. Now you need to set it up. But first, if you don't have an Ethernet cable or your computer doesn't have an Ethernet port, I'll show you another way to connect the router. All you need to do is connect the router with the power adapter and the cable from your internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi. If your router is new, the name of your Wi-Fi network will be the same as the name of your router. Your router has its own Wi-Fi network name and password that is printed on a label. Connect to it. Great, you've connected to the router. Now let's start setting it up. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning you will see a form with a login and password. Usually it is admin and admin. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log in to the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed. Just watch the video and follow the instructions. First, to run the setup wizard, click the start button. If your setup didn't start from this window, but from the main menu, manually launch initial configuration. Click the start button. Select your language. It's better to leave it as English, since most tutorials on YouTube are in English. 
click Continue. On the next page, select Connection Method. Choose Wired Connection. Here, select Router and click Next. On the next page, select Internet Connection Type. You can find it in the contract with your internet provider. If you're not sure what your connection type is, choose this one. It's the most common option. If your internet provider only allows access for a specific MAC address, you'll need to clone the MAC address of your main computer. If you're not sure, leave it as is and click Next. In most cases, there's no need to clone the MAC address. But if the internet doesn't work after the quick setup, try running Setup Wizard again, and this time, clone the MAC address. Next, enter the name and password of the wireless network. The password must be at least eight characters long. Click Next. Do the same for the 5G Wi-Fi access point if your router supports it. Click Next. If you were connected to the router via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the network. If your ISP provides a service to IPTV, you can connect a set-top box directly to the router without using additional equipment. If you are not going to use IPTV, click Next. On the next page, you need to change the password for the router's admin panel. Check all the details and save the settings. Now you need to reboot the router. Log in to the router interface using the new password. If a new firmware version is available, I recommend updating it. After the update, go to the System menu. Then Configuration. Save the settings by clicking the Save button. And click the Reboot button. Wait a few minutes for the router to fully restart. Now check if the internet is working. Just try to Google something. If there's no internet at this stage, call your internet provider. They will tell you your connection type and what other settings need to be configured. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below.